So I never buy uh, packs like this, but I was like, whatever, I'll give it a shot. I got it for nineteen ninety five. Typically, I mean, um, I'm just not big on doing individual packs. I like doing boxes, but you get one autograph, one jumbo relic card per pack. Uh, nineteen ninety five. Look around, I seen it from anywhere from twenty five to fifty dollars. So I was like, ah, twenty bucks not bad. A box basically going to cost you about a hundred. Um, you get six packs. Get a little bit of a discount if you if you buy multiple ones, but um, I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll give it a shot. Uh, in a case, though, you it's pretty cool. If you buy a case, you get like a one multiple like book of autographs, you know, uh, with some other chances as well. So if you can afford to to drop a lot of money on a case, you get some pretty cool stuff. Neat looking cards, I like them. Shiny, but not, uh, like, too much. Not tacky. So here we go. We got Xavier Rhodes numbered. I don't know if that's common or not to get one of those in a pack. 47 out of 50. Let's see. Go with the autograph first. Oh, nope. Autograph patch. That's pretty neat. You get a little bit of the jersey. It's numbered... 59 out of 125, so that's a pretty cool looking card, and need to leave a little bit of the number there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think the, so I should get an autograph on top of this, maybe? Because I think it's either, you know, you get an autograph and a patch per pack. So let's see, this one's very thick as well. Okay, so it's just a patch, never mind. Le'Veon Bell, it's a good one to get. It is 80 out of 1206. I wonder why 1206. Maybe that's just as many cards they could make out of a jersey. So maybe I came out ahead. Maybe you get like an autograph without a patch. And then that, I could be wrong. I don't know. One autograph and one jumbo relic card. So this would be your jumbo relic card. And then I got an autograph patch. So I guess I did really well. 20 bucks. So hopefully it just turns out to be something good.